As a dyer, Mexico is the most amazing place in the world because here I produce the very, very famous dye stuff for all range of colors you can imagine. For example, this indigo of very high quality from growing plants here. The famous cochineal for all kinds of red. Palo Amarillo, the fustic wood and also some local plants for local dyers. This is a very good example of local production using cochineal for red, using indigo for blue, and different yellow local dye stuff, and purple by over dyeing uh, blue on the red shades, and uh, greens by over dyeing yellow on the blue or blue on the yellow, depending on the cases. So this is a lovely sample. Now I will explain you about the processes to use this dye stuff. First of all, indigo, which is not soluble in water, will be dissolved with the addition of local lime, which is uh, calcium hydroxide. We'll crush it, put it in hot water with some organic matters. Then that's for the blue. About reds and yellows, the very classical process consists in boiling the wool together with alum, and then second step will be the dye pot. But locally here in Mexico, the very old traditions shows gorgeous pieces in old museum with different ways of working. For example, the Zapotec people use some plants together with the cochineal and then avoiding the very long process, we will get another kind of red. Also, with some lemon juice or any acid juice from plant, we will get other shades. So this will be developed carefully, step by step. Michelle, the Slow Fiber Studios this workshop is part of that program. We are very interested in sustainability and ecology. How are you going to tie in with that focus? Well, we can even use some wastes from everyday life. For example, here there are many fruits, so you have to know that with the skins of the fruit, which are ordinarily wasted, we can uh, prepare a special dye vat with the indigo because of the very high amount of reducing sugars. Some others can even be used as weekly acid components for some other dye buff, as for example cochineal. Some common plants very rich in tannins will be also available. Then by associating all these supplies with a very, very small amount of minerals, as for example, the local lime, which is used to wash the maize here before cooking it, or maybe the natural alum, which comes from the mountain. By associating everything, we'll get a large range of possibilities. We have accomplished so many colors with very limited number of colorants. And you showed us very clever way, sustainable way to create that incredible palette. It was inspired by the Amaras, a pre-Columbian textiles, which uses three primary colors, uh, indigo, cochineal red, and the yellows. But you have given us much more uh, variations. Well, each artist can do his own variation. It's a question of style, of course. Personally, I found these colors are very harmonious. And in European tradition, we call that natural harmony. All kinds can go together. And that's very, very attractive for any creative purpose.